Hello guys, I'm Sean the Bro, and I'm here to show you the different character sprites with the weapons and the weapons by themselves, as well as the different objects and the code for the weapons. So, today we're going to start with the sprites this time instead of the objects, just so I can tell you and show you what they look like and how I made them. So, if you start with uh, the SMG, I have a pistol, an SMG, a rocket launcher, and a shotgun, but I figure the pistol is a, sta um, a starting weapon, and you don't have to do anything with it. So all you have to do, really, to create a good sprite is take an actual picture of whatever weapon it is that you want, and make a very, very um, bland outline. Just make it a black line. Um, with the curves that you see and all the diagonals and whatever and uh, and then shade it appropriately um, I did not follow the shading at all of the actual gun but I'm just making it its own gun so just take a whole bunch of different shades of gray and fill it in in different areas and then make sure you outline it in black and with that you'll get what appears to be from the size of the uh, the game when you're playing it you'll get what appears to be a really good weapon sprite even up close it doesn't look bad but um, far away it looks really good all the colors blend together and everything works out so see and this stuff like you don't see a trigger or anything but when you're when you're actually playing the game and looking from above it does it really all blends together and that small small black piece right there then that actually looks like a trigger and um, so you don't have to try too hard for the detail you just gotta do little little things that will work for it when it's small so let's go on to the next one uh, I want to show you this one because this is a shotgun and it's pretty much the exact one off of doom I just pulled up a picture. I changed out the green moss kind of tone that they had on the silver and just replaced that with a different kind of gray. I took away the part of the pumping part because it was going out farther than I would like um, just for you know my game. And then also I changed this small piece right here that was the brown piece. I changed it. I added more lighter browns in there instead of the darker ones. So you can do that too that's easy and like that little black piece that you see the darkest black piece that you see at the bottom there is what the trigger is it doesn't look like it there but when you zoom out it really does so again just the little details that matter and they all blend together let's get out of this one and let's go for the hardest one so um, this was orig originally just an entire black RPG um, and I wanted to make it more, look more like the stinger so I took away the the back part which was a circle and replaced it with the actual thing that would go on your shoulder and then I added this thing with the blue little strip that's supposed to be the site for the stinger you know the the glass um, maybe plastic whatever it is the glass or plastic um, aim down sights for it uh, it's I added that in there and then I replaced all the black with all the different shades of green that I could find um, on the palette so we can even take away some of this because that looks pretty dark and we don't want all that necessarily sometimes it looks good but uh so now it looks like a stinger RPG to stinger so let's get out of this and I'll show you some code real quick actually uh, let's show you the enemy shot so enemy shot is uh, for the the spitter zombies that we're doing I just made a whole bunch of green circles and then put white little areas in there for uh, if light was bouncing off of it little reflections and um, now we're gonna get to some code and then I will explain a little bit more about how that works when it hits a wall um, yeah so here, normal bullet. Let's actually change this color. I was gonna leave it this way. I don't I don't know what color I want. Let's make it darker real quick. Um I know that's a little bright. 
we could have it really dark like this but bullets are kind of a yellowish color like this that might be the best it'll also go well with the, the dark backgrounds okay so anyway that that's good center of that um, all right now let's go to code so I'm gonna do uh, the normal bullet first where's it at oh let's see it here it is okay so uh, basically there's only one thing you have to do if you follow the code in the other videos then there's only one thing you have to do instance destroy so as soon as it hits the wall it'll disappear now there's also a little drag and drop for this but it's whatever you want to do you can use that one if you'd like then the enemy sprite is the same now what I wanted to tell you after this was see if this is also instance destroy then that means that if one of those little green bubbles hits a wall then the entire thing gets destroyed whereas you probably don't want that and it looks pretty trashy when that happens so I'm going to give you some advice on what to do. I haven't done it yet, but I plan to. It's actually a really easy process, but just haven't gotten there. So let's move up here. So basically what I would do and what I have done before when I did this that makes it look really professional is keep a sprite like this where they're all together and then select the thing and copy it, which is right there. You select it with this tool, by the way so select the entire thing and copy it or if you want to just include the entire thing again and edit that one then you can just duplicate the entire sprite and do that it's up to you but you're gonna have to duplicate it five times or you could copy it once and paste it five times it's whatever but uh, basically you do that and then you make five different sprites for one of each of the bubbles or it doesn't have to be bubbles if it were to be fire and different pieces of fire like the little uh, things that come off and send you then you could do that too it works the same anything that's one projectile but it's different you want to separate them but keep an overall one so that when they're all fired and make them fire all at the same time then they look like that sprite but that each individual sprite disappears I'm going to go farther into this because I have another kind of projectile, but if you understood what I meant, then that's good. That'll work for you. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you because people were asking how to get the projectiles to uh, shout out to um, HG Master. Yep. I got it right here. Yeah. So I guess shout out does make videos but uh, thanks for the question and uh, yeah so that's I hope that helped you and I'm gonna do another video similar to this and then the next video I do about this game should probably be the beta testing so thank you guys for watching this episode if you enjoyed please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next one goodbye